Are right, we Gucci? <clears throat> Damn, this mic. Hi, the motherfucker. All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast, season two. Shout out to the volume. We on a way game right now, but we still at home. Shout out to All Stars Bar and Grill. We got some special guests with us, special, special guests with us. But to my right, I got the dogs with me. I got Bishop Greenleaf. My dog be here out the pearlies. How you what? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it. You drinking a slushy today? You acting different. We got company. I ain't never seen yeah, this nigga with a slushy. Yeah, got his shades on, man. I yeah. know. I forgot him at Bro Crib. It's all love. We're going to have a good show regardless. All right. To my right, my dog, Young Nacho, Young Teague. How you what today? Man, I'm good, bro. We got family in the building. I kept it classy today by the door. These one by the door. I had to bring them with me, but I kept it classy. Hey, niggas on the internet say you got the biggest dog in the world because every shoe you got by your fucking garage. I just got a messy house. <laughs> I'm not going to dive into that <laughs> but Last but not least We got legends in the building Legend, Legends in the building One of my favorite people to see on YouTube Watching these dudes do their thing Individually as a team It's inspiring for people like us Coming up in this industry To see real niggas get money together To work together To thrive together It's amazing To my left You got DC Young Fly do? She called me And last but not least My dog Carlos How y'all living dude? man Appreciate y'all pulling up to 520 man, man. It's a pleasure to be here Slim we were nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all was nervous in the city? I it was a discount mall, nigga. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> definitely is. I seen the Mexican store. grocery store. I was like, this nigga, this nigga setting us up. <laughs> ain't no way in the said, world. The fresh. Uh, exactly. <laughs> ain't no way in the world. They got the beauty supply store next to the Mexican grocery store. I said, y'all <laughs> see. <laughs> 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 you know, lit outside. Y'all thought there. this was a Tupi movie. Yeah, nah, <laughs> nigga. No cap. For real. We didn't even park. Like, we just kept circling the park. I said, I be down. Are you front and center. Oh, they don't know T. They don't know where T really <laughs> nah, I'll be in the trenches <laughs> at all times. I said that T car right now. Yeah, facts. <laughs> that's a rich nigga truck. Yeah, that's a truck. <laughs> they wasn't at the Mexican grocery store. Hell nah. <laughs> all right, but man, we appreciate y'all pulling up on us, man. Tell them why y'all in the city, man. Uh, we got the 85 South show tonight, man, at the, uh, uh, uh the, what is it, the, the Field House? Games Bridge. Game, Game, Game Bridge. Bridge. Yeah, Field House, man. We in Naptown tonight, man. So, you know, we excited about being able to perform, you know, here. Because I don't think we ever did a uh, 85 South show in Indianapolis before, have we? Yeah, we didn't yeah, been, been here? Been. We have? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, about well, it's good to be back then. I don't remember <laughs> when we came, but we love coming out here because there's so much love, man. So we're excited about, you know, the show tonight, man, what the people going to give us when we get out there. 100, man. We appreciate y'all. I got to start off with a question, man. We had Mike Epps on, and he sung y'all praises, and he started off the show talking about the wildest city he performed in for y'all. What was the craziest place y'all performed in? Or like one of your like wildest performances you had to deal with? Shout out to Mike Epps. That's the OG. Yeah, love no Mike. Cap. Uh, I saw Mike said, them some young old niggas, man. Yeah. And, if you, and if you yeah, get he close says to them, niggas they drink. smell like gin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink. <laughs> a nigga smell like gin is just crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Right. That nigga, right. that's stupid. That's but I want to say I turned, for me, was uh, Minnesota. Oh. Minnesota, huh? Minnesota. We ain't gonna talk about Minnesota. He can't go back to Minnesota. Y'all was, yeah. Min yeah. was in Minneapolis? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he banned. Yeah, he can't go back to Minnesota. From the city or the state? Yeah, they state. paid me a lot of money and I talk a bunch of shit about them. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Damn. They yeah. changed my life though, but. So you feel like you feel like oh y'all feel like Minnesota, uh, Minnesota was the well, best one? You mean as, a, as an 85 South Shore? Yeah, 85 South Shore. Yeah, in, in, individual. In, oh, in okay. general. Tallahassee, Florida, man. Me and Lowe's had a show in Tallahassee, Florida. And they had our food in the men in the men's bathroom, like <laughs> no bullshit. Our green room was in the men's bathroom, That's crazy. and niggas was still using the bathroom. They got chicken wings and shit <laughs> in the men's bathroom. We in a club, nigga. I don't even know what type of club this was. It was probably one of them places they had a male strip shows for the. I'm telling you, it was the wildest shit ever. And we was in there just looking around, and niggas just kept coming in as we doing the show coming in and out of the bathroom with our wings and shit. We like, nigga, <laughs> where are we? Bitch. No, nigga. Oh, <laughs> then a the nigga paid us in a grocery bag. Like, the nigga pulled up. He ain't had the money at first. He was like, man, I be, give me 30 minutes. I'll be right back. I swear to God, <laughs> I'll be right, right back. He's sitting there like, this nigga ain't coming back. And they came back 30 minutes later with the money in the grocery he bag. He came back with the ugliest money, though. The money was so ugly. <laughs> you could tell it had been pieced together. Because it wasn't like, it wasn't nothing in the bag bigger than like a 10 or a 20. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, shit. It was yeah, one of them. It, it the looked block. like a whole yeah. lot of I was busting that down like some strippers. But it really wasn't a whole That's lot of money. That. It was just ugly. <laughs> He robbed a stripper cage. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it don't be the city that be wild. It be the show. Like one of the craziest shows I ever had. I performed for about 
400 recovering addicts on New Year's Eve. Oh, man. That nigga did an AA made show. Me stay on stage for about three hours. Damn. Because they was, it was like, it was a, one of them things where they all get together and they was just so excited to be having fun. Right. Without yeah, good time. doing drugs and drinking and shit. They just like, no, nah, man, stay up there. Stay up there. Craziest outfit I ever. This old dude in there. You know that motherfucker wear a mink coat? Yeah. Right. He had a mink coat, but it wasn't made of mink fur. <laughs> it was made of mink skin? No, it had minks. Like the animal. <laughs> <laughs> like it had a whole bunch of minks. Like you could see the whole body. They was like on the... It was so crazy. Mean, they they, they was just like body. hanging off. <laughs> Full body minks. And I was what like, what fuck? you got? like, it's a mink coat. And I was <laughs> like, I don't know if this is a joke or it's an unfinished coat. <laughs> when we had that show, Remember we started off, it was it's around here. When we had that show, I just can't call it out. Remember when we first started, it was probably like 150 people and the and the promoter was sweating. Mm -hmm. We was in like a, a Masonic. Yeah, temple yeah, the Mason. Uh, yeah, yeah. We was around man. here. Nah, we, I think that was when we was we was in Houston. Mm -mm. We went in Houston. We was in the middle of nowhere around here. It started with a <laughs> what's, what's the show? People don't people come to, but they go out for it. What's the city? I'm a city around here. You see, that's too vague. No, it ain't, man. It's only, you got Gary. Uh, Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne. Terry Holt. Terry Holt. And what's the other one? South Bend. Not South Bend. I'm probably ain't seen y'all South Bend. I know y'all niggas ain't go to Lafayette. We ain't go to Lafayette. Yeah. Everybody skipping it. Anderson. Muncie. Bloomington. The nigga that made y'all name every city. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. No, it's it's only Indiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't so remember. So Anderson, Indiana. We got to do the Googles on that. Man. Yeah. Like Googles up on I that. remember the Masonic Temple. What about it Temple, though, DC? I, the Masonic, what happened? The Masonic Temple show I remember was that one we was in Houston when them niggas was playing pool and watching TV and shit while we was performing oh. at the same time. Remember we was in Houston, nigga, and we was performing and wasn't nobody paying attention the whole night? Nigga. Oh, I did. How about when we performed? Peoria, nigga. That's, oh, that's Illinois. Illinois. Oh, that's a nasty Isn't city. That that's a nasty it city. It is. Yeah. That's it what is. Richard Pryor uh, from. What was you about to say, though? When we I was like, I'm going to get that motherfucker in a minute. <laughs> I had to stay still. What happened in Peoria? <laughs> Never mind. Nigga, we started oh. off with 200 people, bro. It looked like one nobody finna show up. I ain't never seen this shit in my life, nigga. Like, the, you, the, that the, was in Indianapolis. That was the show we did in Indianapolis, nigga, when we had the baseball jerseys on. Yes. Yeah, you talking about yes. 85. That was the time we, that was the last time we, and the first nigga, time we came in we that time. We had like 200 people show up in the beginning because it was raining and the promoter was sweating because he had to pay me, he had to pay you. <laughs> and it was like another comedian. Nigga, I be down. By 20 minutes later, nigga, it's a lie. It was about a thousand people last night. It was about a thousand. <laughs> in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes. That and the nigga had to pull more chairs up. Nigga, we had a stupid show. It was Hell like 1,200 yeah. It was people wrapped all the way it around the building. people wrapped around, bro. We ain't never yeah. seen no shit. He was like, y'all just hold off like 30 minutes. Shit just got good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was one of the best shit. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, when, when we had that show in Houston, they got a comedy club down there. In the daytime, it's a DUI just driving DUI school. Just DUI driving school, yeah. Then, Wait, what? Night, Why, how y'all keep getting booked for all these goddamn crazy shit? Yeah, yeah, all the way. We out here balling. We <laughs> had a show in co at a college like that. All the like motherfuckers that. who call you and you don't want to holler at them, they be like, man, just come fuck with me. I got I got what you want in cash. <laughs> we did a show in Memphis at a college, nigga. We went to do the show with nobody in that bitch, nigga. The nigga put us on a golf cart and took us to all the dorms in the on the college. We was right, going through the dorms, knocking on doors. Niggas like, oh, they really came, man. They didn't believe we, they didn't believe we was the, coming. Uh, nigga, by the time we got back to the auditorium, do the that show, bitch that bitch full. was packed. Damn. When y'all knew y'all was going to start doing arenas, though? When we started having to do three shows in one night. Four. four. We had to do four. Damn. And I used to really be like, I was the one that'd be like, bro, how the fuck are we gonna come up with new shit four times a day and get what these niggas do? We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm like, man, God, damn. <laughs> yeah, we was we would start having <laughs> shows care. at like four o'clock on a Sunday. What was that feeling like though? Like, that like damn, we didn't made it to arena. So y'all doing four, six, eight, ten? Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Shit. It's to the point That's where it was like, we having fun, but they're like, we gotta be strategic now. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It was yeah. like, all right, we left, we had to. I, I like to, it's just a free game. I like to go in spaces where we pack out versus going to spaces where it's empty seats. That's a marketing tool. Cause yeah. now it's like you, you, you need more room. 
So once we realized we needed more room, we was like, all right, we grew with our fans. Yeah. Once our fans was like, Brown, we came out here two years ago, we did one show. Next year, we doing three, four shows. All right, we like to come to the club, but we can't come here and do this shit four times. We got to go into the theaters. Okay, we did two theaters today. What's bigger than a theater? Now we in arenas. Yeah, I think it's the hard. first one we realized was Jacksonville. When we did Jacksonville, I think that was the first real like arena setting that we did because we had went to Jacksonville the year before and did like four shows in a day at the comedy club. And then we came back that next year and we kind of all was like, man, this big ass spot we great do. And when we walked <laughs> in that bitch and seen that motherfucker full, we was like, oh nigga, Damn. this shit different. Like to see all of those people and you know they there to see us, like that was just a different feeling. Like, you know, when you fill up an arena like that, it's a different type of energy. Yeah. Cause you know, when you're in the comedy club, it's more intimate. You can, mm -hmm. you know, kind of re hear the response, or, you know, kind of see how the shit is working directly with the yeah, people yeah. communicate. But when you in that arena like that, it might take three, four seconds for the laugh to even get all the way back to you with so many people in there. That's crazy. And that's why. Sure. And one thing I admire about y'all is y'all work ethic because y'all do a podcast and a show every single week on top of y'all collective 85 South and then y'all individual. How do y'all like prioritize what comes first? Like, how do you manage all that? <laughs> Man with the plan. That makes sense. Because it's just so like for me, like we, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to volume. They asking us for a little bit more now. We in the situation. I'm like, how are we going to figure that out? But I see y'all. Shit, y'all on the road every day and still delivering content. Does it help overall with the show? Or does it like, damn, I gotta make more shit to do this shit? Nah, it's because it's 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 organic. It's in the moment. You can tell. Like, we just have the type of talent and the gift where it's like we can express ourselves in anger and it still be funny. Or we can come in and be in the best mood and just take this shit to a whole nother level. Or we can walk in, like you said, in these places that we describing and be like, this ain't shit. We got to make it something though. It's fucked up. We about to act like it ain't fucked up. Like we get to choose our own narrative. But that crowd changes the whole, changes us, the feeling. Like right. we, we can tell when this is a crowd that fuck with us. Right. And we can tell when it's a crowd that all right, they want they want us to prove ourselves for five minutes. For mm -hmm. oh, they want some. They came straight to okay. Now they loose. Like you can feel that shift when they say okay. I'm, I just wanted to make sure I was at the right shit. Like so you do, can feel what the crowd want to hear. Do y'all go what off the like how you said that too? Like do y'all get the DJ going to get the crowd loose? Like what do you do to get the crowd loose? To I mean, you know, go ahead. Fam. We, we just we just. You know, it, it's like, like you said, it's organic. Like when you just, the question you ask, Los is our big brother. He's our elder. He's been doing this shit longer than both of us. Yeah. And he had an understanding of the game from a perspective mm. that we kind of been blessing the game never to have to experience. Like he done been through the trenches in a way that like by the time we got all the way in the game, that style of comedy and the way that the journey that he had to take didn't even exist no more because the internet came out. So gotcha, him having man. an understanding of, that side of it and having an understanding of the internet side of it, he figured out a way to make the shit work to where it was organically ours. We all come from all wild and out, so we know what that structure looks like or the corporate structure and what it looks like to go on that side and be on something major like that. But just the creation of what we do is the freedom of the fact that we don't have to know what we're going to do. Like, that's a level of pressure that you take off yourself as a comedian or just as an entertainer in general. You know what I mean? It's kind of like what I would think that and one is. Like, if you playing and one versus the league, yeah. like, the league is, you know, you got to play under the whistle. And one, you get to come out there and show what you can do. So this sure. kind of like and one in regards to the way that the structure game is. We on both sides of it. But when we come and do this, it's just the fact that we can come out. Sometimes we don't see each other till we at the place we can already perform. Because we all coming from three different Facts. places. Yeah. But when we come in, we ain't got to say, all right, staff meeting. All right, look, what we talking about tonight? We've never had to do that one time. It's just, Damn. all right, grab the microphones. We can go out there and do whatever we want to do. And that's just, a, you know, from Lowe's having an understanding of the game and us just being having the talent to be able to blend it to where it just looked like we'd be doing this shit every day practicing when we show up and do these shows. That's because I feel like we interpret. Like we get to go out and we get to just hear all the shit 
that other people can't say. Right. <laughs> and we just yep. have to interpret it for our crowd. Right. Like we know the shit. Like you can you got a job. You can't afford to say shit and lose your job. They got to come to your job and say that shit. Right. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like we have to kind of be the voice of the people. And they don't even know how much of an influence of, of our style of comedy that they are. Like, sometimes we get off stage and we be like, bro, you, did you see this shit? Man, you got to talk about this shit. Not as, a, not like, don't talk about it from the 85 South perspective. Talk about it how you would talk about it at your show. Right. Like you telling your crowd, right? Because we all got individual crowds, and we'll and they all come to our individual shows, and they let us know, man. I called Chico, called DC. I had to come see you, or you know what I'm saying, vice versa. So these people tell us exactly what to say, what to do, what type of show they want to see. Because right. we we put these shows out every week, and we see them what they respond to. Like we could easily go out there and do our sets, or do a set, or give them stand up comedy. Yeah. But they want to see us be stand-up comedians, the guys they know from Wildin' Out, mm -hmm. and the guys they send on the internet. They right. want us to, all right, fuck them jokes. Do something, man. Right. Chico, make up a song, my nigga. Right. I bought this ticket just to see y'all rap. Y'all been right. fuck all this laughing and joking. <laughs> we came to see a song, nigga. Talk about some titties. <laughs> Talk about them hoes. Bro, you don't see them? They'll point them out like, hey, she been acting <laughs> up before y'all got out here. Like, yeah. that's the type of shit they want to see, so... We just doing a great job of interpreting that. And that's a good way you said it, man. Like, y'all are legitimate entertainers. Like, outside of y'all being, like, y'all, you can tell it's organic. Like, the way that y'all be starting them songs off, you would think that shit been written. But I could tell you get to freestyle, I'll be like, that shit's crazy. Like, he, them niggas just thought that shit up and it's amazing. He the coldest freestyler. He the coldest freestyler. This nigga music IQ is fucking. I was swear to God, about I, listen, early, I was just about it's to. It's off the chart. How the fuck? Do he you be everybody. remembering all those fucking songs? He know everybody. I thought I was a historian, nigga. You different. Yeah, it's the, you know it. I don't know to be honest with you. It might be a slight form of autism to be honest, dog. Like, <laughs> it it got to be. Got to be. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. Like if we had to write a classical music song, I'm going to get Chico. If all we had to write a country record, Thanks. a pop record. Jazz, what oh. this man fuck with every genre. I heard of music bro do that twister. He, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's that's you know, just growing up, that was something that was given to me from the dudes that influenced me. My father got killed, so all of my, you know, influences was the dudes around my uncles and the niggas I yeah. grew up around in the streets, and I would just, you know, take to whatever they was into. Okay. And whatever I saw them think was cool, I thought was cool, and I would want to impress them. You know, it was kind of like looking for validation from the people I wanted to give me, you know, the love that I wasn't getting from, gotcha. you know, not having my pops around. And that kind of what created the love for the music. Then my Uncle Ricky, a DJ. So I would go down to his room in the basement, and this nigga would just sit and just play me records all day long. Like, and he would mix and scratch his records. So that's, and then my Aunt Mary had a big record collection. And when she cleaned up on the, on the weekend, she would let me sit down and go through the record collection. And I would just pick what I wanted to hear based off of what the cover of the album looked like. So that's grown. just, it was just yeah. all the way. And that's a, like that musical inclination. Cause like this nigga, can't nobody freestyle better than this nigga. Like me with the musical inclination of being able to coming up with it. And this nigga Insane. is one of the most talented niggas in the world <laughs> when it comes to Put this, he like a Swiss army knife. This nigga know how to do a little bit of everything good. Yeah. Like <laughs> play the drum, skateboard, cut hair. You know what I mean? All types of shit. So when this nigga get to like, when you put that together, you can't lose. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he going to be able to sing this shit in a way the way you would think that this nigga's going to go in the studio and put this shit out. But this is happening right in front of your eyes. You know what I mean? Can I ask you a the question? The coldest shit I seen this nigga right. do. When that nigga was skiing down that big ass Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mountain. Wait, what? You know how to this nigga ski can too. ski this his nigga, ass this off, nigga bro. can do everything, listen, man. I'm talking about down some hills where, listen, before you go down the slope, I'm like, I'm tripping. Fuck it. <laughs> 50 Bruh. mile per hour. Bro, but he's 50. stroking. We need the footage. <laughs> he's stroking that bitch. Don't tell me crazy. I made fall once crazy. or twice. That's crazy. That's crazy. But that's for me to, to get them know the mountain. Once I know the mountain, I'm like, bet, I'm finna come back up here. Nigga said get to know the mountain. Oh, you got to. Cause you nature, you gotta respect it. If I'm finna come down this mountain, I ain't finna come down this mountain like, oh, I'm a nigga that ski. No, I'm a nigga that skate. Mm. First off, so that means I know how to hold my balance. These ain't nothing but some long ass rollerblades. So what I gotta do is 
adjust to what this is. So once I started adjusting, I was like, oh, okay, because that's just how I am. My mama put me in everything. But I always thought, like, I don't want to be here. What she did was she made me well-rounded. Yeah. yeah. So as an adult, I know how to adjust. Like, I can get into some shit that I ain't, I have no clue. Give me one week. You would think I'm a professional. What made you start taking music so serious? I mean, because I grew up in music since a jit, since a You was in the choir child. and shit? Like, I, I grew up in church choir. I grew up in, I played all type of instruments. I played all the percussion. I'm a percussionist. You me feel too. Me? So you play percussion? Uh, we're we from the same lineage. So you, you play and my, and my mama old the motherfucker, and I'm the youngest out of 10 kids. Ooh. So you know what time it well, is. We on the same type of time. So you know what's up. Okay. You're the youngest out of 10? Out of 10. I'm the youngest out of Sam. My mama coochie hanging off the side of her leg. Boy, nigga. you better hey. stop talking about <laughs> your mama coochie like, like that. Yeah. Hey, mama, I'm sorry that nigga disrespectful <laughs> like she that. She sitting right there. My coochie hanging off the side of my leg. leg. <laughs> disrespectful. But what if it really is and she just sitting there like, that's my baby. That's the guy she is. Tell me how old your older sibling is. 60. His brother you older than yours. Yeah. Your oldest brother is my baby oldest brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are you a grand you a brother. grand what you say my you old, a grand brother? Oh yeah, I got a grand brother. My <laughs> oldest brother, uh I call that nigga right now. Got, <laughs> got, you gotta be about <laughs> 60 <laughs> seven <laughs> that, huh? Right there. Nah, nah, what but I come from that. You here, man? You gotta watch out for them church drummers. My mama, yeah, well, I'm a I'm a drummer too, by oh, nature. Yeah. yeah. We have a battle every week. But he thinks shit Future the GOAT, and I say Jay-Z the GOAT. You the music man. I would love, love to know. All right, please. Hey, Kurt. How old you here, man? Uh, 60. Oh, you got to be about 67. Oh, shout out to OG <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> shout out to OG <laughs> Kurt. That nigga <laughs> said 67. <laughs> no, I, this, how old you here? This, this nigga talking nigga? about Future and Jay-Z. What I'm saying is, that's just who I prefer. I respect Jay Z whole catalog. What you just say? What nah, we doing? Nah, he said we had a show one time. He was like, "Future the goat, man." And I was like, "He better than Jay." He was like, "Hell yeah!" Ain't to me, fucking with that. To me, and I love. I respect music for sure. I Jay Z so far as lyricist, give me Jay Z. I'm just talking about like future. <laughs> Hold on, though. F to me, <laughs> future helped that whole so Atlanta see my hands going. I'm, I got, I'm getting my thoughts together. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm like, saying future to me helped that whole. <laughs> like now, it's more niggas like future than it is niggas like hoes. You don't believe that? <laughs> Retweet. Rapping? You don't even believe that. Rapping? Well, well, yeah, I, I do. Because I know you don't believe I'm that. I'm not. He's making it a thing. Side, I'm not. And then you explain the other side. No, I'm saying they making it <laughs> seem like. Saying, are you saying best in? And to me, to bro. Degree? Because why do we as a community we, have to put somebody better than I'm not, a, I don't, an icon? Why do we do that? We don't have to. What so I'm telling y'all niggas personally who I prefer, I'm listening <laughs> in the future before I, can respect I pop in the hole. Your preference, I can respect your preference that is preference. your preference. That's but, my preference. But see, he, you got to preface that because you can have say, right, like, me, like musically. I got a personal top five and then I got a, a, a top five that is, you know, the top five based on statistical yeah. categories and right. the way everything. So the that top five is a little different than my personal top five. You know right. what I mean? But as like far as, as far as like if you comparing the two, that's unfair to future. And I'm absolutely I'm not. And I'm he a just terrible he on me. Person. He tell me I gas future too much. I don't. Imaginary players person. by Jay Z is my favorite song by Jay Z. Five, I just named five of the most opposite ass things that they said just to piss them off. <laughs> right. Facts. They be dead serious. You just like him. Lil yeah. Wayne. Uh, Nas, I'll be like, man. Like me and him got a a, a, a beef when it comes to my my top. Go five. crazy. Let's hear your uh, shit. My top five. Let's hear it. My top five for sure. I'm from the South, so I understand where you may be coming from. Mm. I'm a, I'm a T.I. For sure. This is my top five. Shout out to Tip Paul. T.I. all day. I know almost every word, song, like, song, word for word. Uh, Urban Legend, top five album. Feel Mark. Feel Mark. That, yeah, that's Outcast. crazy. I fuck with Outcast. Outcast out the gate. Eminem. Ooh. And uh, that's a nasty ooh. ass five. <laughs> ooh, feel mob to M is crazy. This is between this is between a Joe DeBreeze or a Lil Boosie for the last for the last spot. Yeah, that's a wild five. That's a wild <laughs> five. We talked about the five. five. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a personal. Yeah. And that, I that respect that. That inspired my musical talent. Why I'm like like yeah. why you a Jabberwocky and all that other shit. I understand. Stupid. 
But I'm saying, like, you're not going to judge his top five. I don't, I don't listen to none of them. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But that's why we got we to gotta say preference or yeah, I don't status be, I don't in the I don't be, game. I don't, I don't be trying to play Right, because he Please, always... let me hear your playlist. Nah, you... Jay-Z, Biggie, uh, Drake, and Lil Wayne. That's his top five, but ask him about his playlist because it don't pass 2008. Oh, yeah, I don't <laughs> listen to nothing. Heavy Boosie, Heavy Webby. Yeah. You come to my house and it's a party. See, I'm stuck in 2007 see, when and we below. Come to music, we got to say, okay, your top five that you like, and then you got a playlist that you listen to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be 100. I don't even listen to none of them. What you Who I just to? named, unless <laughs> I'm just on that type of time. Yeah. My everyday, I'm r and b out. Out the gate. Oh, yeah, I got a list for you when we leave. 18 hours, I got you. R&B out. Trash. R &B. 18 hours. <laughs> nigga, 18 and, hours and, and, trash. And, and motivational speeches. I, I got a little bit of that, too. Say no more. I'm, yeah, I got a little bit I'm, too. Who's your motivational speech? I'd love to hear do that. that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Chico. Chico, who you? Who your top three? We do your top three. Top three what? My personal rappers. top three rappers? Yeah, rappers. Top three? You don't get five. Yeah, I don't even get five. Nigga said, fuck the last <laughs> You can do so. your five. No, do your five. I'm just, you know. My personal top five rappers. Pop. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pimp C. Mm. Scarface, Twister, Master P. Uh, don't, you got get Master started, don't get on started on Master okay, P. Everybody ahead, got go a ahead. whole different top five. Go yeah. crazy. They do. The lineage is so different. Hey, mm -hmm. one thing I got to say, too. I saw the uh, You on T-Pain podcast. Mm -hmm. Y'all, dude, you doing that performance is crazy to me. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. going back to you, just yeah, remember, yeah. like, that was no, crazy that was, to me. That was my mama's favorite song. Like, that. that's how I would always know Damn. when a nigga would break up with my mama. Like, she would, she would play that song in the morning, mad that whatever situation she had going on, and that's the song she would play, Superwoman, you know what I'm saying? So I played that at my mother's funeral. But it's like, as far as me, like, remembering music, it only take me two or three times of listening to a song to at least be able to get the first, to where if I'm listening to it, you wouldn't <coughs> think that I only listened to it three times. It's just the way the shit registered yeah, the boy, in my mind. The boy, the boy, the boy you know what I mean? But as back. far as, as far as like, what I listen to every day, as, man, you wouldn't know who the phone belonged to if you looked at my playlist. Like, I, right. I listen to listen to all types. And it's crazy because I never, one genre I never listened to was gospel music. Like, never. Went, never. Damn. We went, never. You grew up on that. Nah, we was. Down in we was, oh, we, you're good, <laughs> I mean, that commercial stuff, yeah, but we ain't, you know, Ricky I come. Y'all got to be like that. Nah, for real. Like, it was a, you know, the Bean oh, household God. was full of heathens, nigga. That's like, crazy. it was all, <laughs> it was all, I'm talking about the the, the bullshit in regards yeah, to know. the messaging and the music. That's what we, I didn't listen to gospel music. Like, I didn't hear something about the name Jesus until 2019 for the first time. Damn. Like, and that shit was Smoky, like. Smokey Norfolk? So, yeah, yeah nigga, I don't you even know who that is. Oh. But, <laughs> like, that gives me the opposite. It's like I've been introduced to a new genre of music as a grown man. Like, I just watched the Kirk Franklin that. documentary. And that's, it's like I'm looking at a new artist. I had no idea this nigga had 19 Grammys. I know Stomp and the lineage that type is of shit, yeah. I had crazy. no idea that Kirk Franklin was, this nigga is a mogul. Not for make real. The, uh, that's the, his music got to be what Christians fuck to. Like, that got to <laughs> hey, be. Hey, man, I can't believe Like, that. for real, like, bro, <laughs> like crazy. that, what do the, I'm you ever thought about that? Like, what that's do crazy. Christians, like, do they have, <laughs> Yeah, like you gotta fuck this. What the what coochie say? say? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So <laughs> what the coochie say? <laughs> so you might catch me. What you, your mama say? <laughs> you might catch me listening to y'all niggas. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. Someone rub my breast. <laughs> this <laughs> Let me slow down. Time to my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I do agree with that. I might just spot in the G for G's. I'm gonna start right See, now. You got that motherfucking face at me. But you know, just the I think that the the musical influence of all of us, like we all, like this nigga didn't put me on the shit. This nigga didn't put me on the shit. We didn't all put each other like this nigga Fact. put me on to a song by a nigga named Methrone called Loving Each Other for Life. My listen to this shit for two and a half hours straight, <laughs> non-stop, back to back, nigga. I had, it is, that's the beauty of music to me. Like, you, and no, matter no matter how much how you know. That shit is, you, if you ain't never heard you it, don't know a, you. you don't even know a third of it. Like, that you know does. what I mean? It's so much that you ain't never heard before. So I got a question. I know y'all, DC said we shouldn't compare. Just what y'all prefer. Mm -hmm. 
Cash money or no limit? Nah. That's a trick question. That. That's, 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 <laughs> that's a trick question, dog. You gotta understand dog. the era and what what mm. both. You gotta teams understand have because done. not only just for New Orleans, okay, for the South, cause, cause no limit did a lot for Snoop. Shout out to the lineage. You, you feel you me? You shouldn't have to pick. You really like disrespectful you, as a motherfucker for asking us this question. You can't pick that. I'm not. Oh, that's, that's, right. Right. that's some disrespectful it's, it's hard shit. because you, I'm young, I said so who you I prefer. I didn't say who better. You it depends on what day it is. You can't pick between no limit and cash give you, money. I'm going to give you, it depends on your age limit. If you a Fair young enough. nigga, you are a cash money nigga. But if you are older nigga, you're going to pick no limit because cash money is a younger version of a no limit. That's a fact. That's all. You can go. I ain't rolling, but <laughs> I'm letting you know, as a 40-year-old black man. Yes, sir. When Cash Money Records took over for the 9-9 in the 2000, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh -huh. I was the niggas he was talking to. Preach. <laughs> Preach. My generation made them babies off them songs. Speak, right. Do you know that there are 23, 24, 25-year-old people walking around right now because of my generation's irresponsibility during the <laughs> summer of the 99 in the 2000s. Speak, Los. Speak. Them, them babies right Those now are, are my, 22, them, them my homeboys' kids. Facts. Them my classmates' offsprings. Young, them young, girls who was pregnant at the agree. football game. I'm cash money. That's because they was backing that ass up that whole summer. I don't before think no that. lemon got memories I mean, like that. Yeah. Look how I'm you speak in. Look at how you <laughs> speak in. But I also was there. Exactly. When all the bad bitches in the club had a no limit tattoo right there on their thigh Joe. by that coochie. Come on, man. Oh, I remember my being a young still nigga. Got true Talk to you, Cole. I you? remember being a, a young story. nigga. The first time I heard Swamp Niggas, we was in my man Matt basement. We Shout was in Matt. Matt basement, man. And nigga, Matt I heard brother, it when it was new. Matt brother. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have no commercial, no promo for that shit. You just had to listen to the whole album because Swamp Nigga won the last song. Won the last song on the TRU album, but... Matt Brother, really? you know It was two tapes. He was in the street. Two so CDs. He, he, had had all of, he had all of the different music yeah. and shit. So we used to sneak downstairs and listen to all the music. Yeah. And when that Swamp Niggas came up, boop, boop, I was like, nigga, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And that nigga, man, at Masterpiece, like, you couldn't tell us that nigga wasn't the ice cream man. We was little. That nigga is the only nigga. Wait a minute. No, we not. That was the ice cream man, man. That was a moment That's in no right history <laughs> that made know the world stop. And it was a lyric. Who? When that nigga Mystical said, I'm the lightning in bad weather. I'm, I'm that nigga on that picture on your girlfriend's dresser. Come on, mama, that was hard. Everybody in their mama That was hard. Come on. No, that was hard. That's Come a on, classic man. line. I went Master fuck with this song Master like that till I heard that. Nigga, when you would buy a No Limit CD, you would look in the book and see all of them albums that's coming out. You coming don't out know there. who none of them niggas was, <laughs> but you was buying that shit when had it came them CD out. Books. Nigga, I remember I Tape went books. and tried to get Back my mama day. to buy me Skull Duggery. Nigga, I didn't know who the fuck Skull Duggery was, but I <laughs> they, wanted that shit. You, you, you wanted it because of graphic. Duggery, the graphic nigga. design it was, was hard. Skull that's why niggas wanted it. No limit, bro. Skull Duggery, my nigga. I wanted niggas, that Skull Duggery. Niggas wanted that. And on the bottom when they said on the way, they had a list of 85 niggas you had never heard before. never heard of, but they be I believed in them because people Exactly. So you can't, you can't, man. You can't make that choice, man. That's a, that's a, that's hard. Yeah, that's I respect, a, that's I respect. Cause I grew choice up on cash money, but I know no limit was. See, no, no limit was no, no limit. No limit gave us hope. Cash mm. money made us feel like we already had money. We we felt like we had money with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Master yeah. P reminded us that we hood niggas. I'm from the project. I grew up on eggs and lunch and meat. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is forever <laughs> in us. That nigga man. know everything. Well, I believe yeah. that nigga know every word. That's bro. fire, man. You see it? Yeah, oh God. That nigga know every word. You okay, can't tell me. I feel like C Murder is my brother, too. That's free how deep I am in these no limits. Yeah, definitely free C Murder. But I'm also to Monica. a cash money hot boy, too. Oh, hey, play what y'all thought about BG getting boy. out? Come on. Man, I'm excited. About time. He like, should have been out three so years ago. I almost said free BG. <laughs> My boy, I'm glad you're home. Hell yeah. Welcome home, Jizzle. Yeah. I he had a question. should be home stress-free. No I had a question since, since, no since, since you, you asked it. I got to ask you as an as a ex-NBA player, as somebody that played on the highest level, what's your opinion on the Jordan-LeBron debate? Mmm. Mm. He went, yeah, Jordan, so there you go. Yeah. I mean, nah. it don't matter. You know what I mean? Jordan LeBron. Jordan, like... He a motherfucker. He over there. Shit. He, don't, he don't exist, really, to me. 
Like, he, like, unbelievable. He can't even be talked about. Like, it's like LeBron, then you start talking about everybody. But, like, Jordan in his own world. So, like, Jordan, like a Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah you don't even talk about him. You can't him. compare him. Nah, you can't compare You him. can always compare LeBron to Jordan because he's the greatest, but yeah. Jordan is like, yeah. I usher Chris Brown. Like, you yeah. will be great over here. Yeah, Ooh, you got the Michael, just like that. Michael it's like Jackson. Michael Jackson. We from Indiana, so Michael Jackson definitely over there. But, see, that's how but, good Michael Jordan is. We all grown ass men, and we still know that. Like you wouldn't say the wrong in this podcast and let Mike hear it. And <laughs> oh, my when I see that nigga, <laughs> sort of got why I got this. But the thing though with LeBron, I I big ass jeans. you believe Mike can hoop today? But this no, is the thing I had to <laughs> respect with LeBron. Look. When you look at stats. This motherfucker's in top three. Everything. Everything. He got the most you, buckets ever. You cannot. You you cannot say he's not the greatest. He may not be the most entertaining. Yeah. LeBron. Nah, that nigga whole game. No, it's cool. But see, when I say entertainer, I'm a dog, bro. Like, I'm one of the ones that got that, like, the Russell... Uh, uh, Westbrook energy, John Morant, to, shit. all that job, like that's me. Like yeah. you got control to own this entire. What LeBron did was he took it by storm of business. I know how to control this as a business. Absolutely. Once you know how to control it as a business, use it as a marketing tool to be like, okay, let me go get all the dollars. I'm not gonna get all the dollars because of I play good. Yeah. I'm gonna get all the dollars because one of you niggas is gonna get on a postcard today. <laughs> We like, don't make hey, that, that nigga exciting. That got stats and everything. I that mean, nigga pulled nah, up. Nah, that top nigga top. everything. Look, that's unbelievable. But this is what I'm saying. Like I, like, like I said, yeah. he's top three everything. Everything. But nah. I like electrifying. He's he unbelievable because the role he had to take is different. Like, man, that's what he, I'm saying. Like, I look, I respect Jordan. I, pressure. you know, watch Jordan LeBron as a young a nigga. He earned my respect. I, I, he, you know what I mean? It. It, Jordan is, like you said, he's a godlike figure, but. That nigga ain't had to do what Bron had to do. They nah, been watching Bron since this nigga was in the sixth grade. This That's nigga that been touted to be the next greatest since the sixth grade and held that up for 30 you, years. You still now. talking about time, Aaron. You got to talk about the time. But this how I feel, though. You got to think. Bron look up to True. Jordan. Like, he look at Jordan like, damn. Everybody talk, does. What, what, what yeah, That's time. why I just we put him over error. there. Yeah, but yeah. everybody does. Jordan stop. Came back and showed y'all niggas that's how to different. do this shit, that's man. Different. That's, 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 different. No. that's why I just put him over there because it's like we all look up the I mean, everybody it's did, different. you know what I mean? But I guess it's a little different for me because Iverson is my personal goat. Like, Mine's too. That's oh. my personal goat. Like, Mine's when I, that's Iverson had more of an impact on me as a Jay young nigga anybody. playing it's ball bigger than, basketball. than any basketball Facts. player yeah, or any athlete. Hey, my that, top that, all him as an athlete had more impact on not just me, my community, like, Niggas wanted to be like AI. You know what I'm yeah, saying? He from that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Niggas wanted to be Mike like play. Mike, and that's true, but you not could. the way we wanted you to be like attention. Wizards. We wanted to be <laughs> like AI. I, you, nigga, I, we all wear Jordans. I love Jordans, but I ain't never wanted to wear a pair of them jeans. Like, I never <laughs> wanted Nasty. to, never. Yeah, it's different. Y'all talking about off the court shit. I nah, mean, I but that's, that's, that's that not encompass. Does like, that not encompass the guy? The, the, the debate? And that, does that not encompass why, you see, know, you got to put that? Because we never got to see Mike in this era. Could you imagine? Nah. You know they, how they say Mike be current niggas. Yeah. I don't know if you ever met Mike before, so, but what, I done heard Mike. Years? Be what, talking to what niggas. Mike talk shit to you. Like Mike be calling niggas. Mike be calling niggas. Mike be calling niggas. Mike be you a bitch ass niggas. Yeah, he was all Sound like a Kevin, Kevin Garnett <laughs> type whoa, 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 player. Whoa, 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 Iverson changed whoa, whoa. the game, though. Hold, hold, hold Mike up, could wait, talk wait. bad to you. Mike talk bad. What you say? Mike be talking bad. Mike will call you a hoe ass nigga and walk off. He'll call you a hoe and walk off. And you gonna take it because Mike. You didn't know that shit? I mean, Carlos. You see how he did AI when he said the first time he met him? He said, what's up, you little bitch? And yeah, like, that's a true story. AI said well, that What if Michael mouth? Jordan people from New Orleans and that's just how they talk? What's up, little bitch? Yeah, that's what Kevin Gay said. That's how he just talked to well, motherfuckers. You so I get it. just say Kevin Gay. I would have said it back, but I would have said it back. I would have played it all. Hey, bitch. Y'all act like y'all don't know niggas from Florida and Louisiana. All right, so. Nah, he but told he me ain't... to take off his shoes one game. I had we'll put on some Bordeaux sevens to hoop in the game, trying to impress him. Like, damn, maybe if I hoop in some Jordans, I get a Jordan deal. No. And he like, hey, who motherfucker, who told you you can wear them? Hey, can you get my other shoes out the back? Testing this game. Hold up, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You talking nah, about in the real? Man, yeah, that's why you in the NBA? Yeah. How did that feel when a nigga that's you look saying, up to <laughs> tell you, trying, who the fuck told your bitch ass to put them shit, shoes on? I, I, oh, shit, I got nervous. I'm like, hey, get my other shoes out the back. He know you I, got them on now? Yeah, I still He hey, got I PTSD. Yeah, I he, never, he, he ain't never say I was just playing. <laughs> nah, he did after a while. He was like, why you take them off? I was like, you said take them off. 
He was like, man, this See, is I wouldn't be able to take oh, that, yeah, man. Yeah, I was like, I'm Shit. sorry. I respect y'all, nigga. I'm sorry, yeah. man. I'm going to have to say <laughs> something true. back. Mike, you, 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 you bitch ass nigga. Nigga, fuck your jeans, nigga. Right, I done I'm been on his ass. ass. I ain't gonna lie, I hope I got the wind don't blow. You going to fly away for real, nigga. Nah, he loved Jordan, though. I done yeah. got on his ass. Fat jean wearing, motherfucker. So, but, so, but then what I'm saying, though, LeBron is the GOAT of today's era. Yeah. yeah. And I don't see nobody. I don't see nobody beating him all right, but no was, time, so was these niggas y'all favorite been... players or did y'all like low key niggas growing up? You know how some niggas like, man, I oh, fuck with Melo. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, Melo. I fuck with Melo. Shit, fuck one with, of my nigga, your White favorite players. Was one of my favorite players. Damn, That's his man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that was one I'm of my Gary favorite players. Because I, I you Gary. know, I played ball. So, like, that was, that, like, watching those, what's my man name that played for uh, Indiana? Uh, uh, I don't want to mention him. What was Brevin? Brevin Knight? What was his name? For the Pacers? For the Pacers. Night last night. Ain't yeah. no nigga though with the last yeah, night yeah, night yeah, play yeah. for us. Point Travis, Travis Best, Travis nigga? Travis Best, my bad. Oh. I'm thinking of some my bad. Oh, my that's bad, a Travis filthy Best. nigga. Yeah, I oh, yeah. fuck with Travis, Travis Best. That's a wild boy. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, it's a bunch of players. Remember my boy Steve Jackson? He go stoop. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a question about Steve Jackson, so. Good segue. <laughs> he said <laughs> yeah, he'd yeah. rather have 50 million in a championship. Okay. Instead of 100 million. And I, I won a championship, but I had a saying when we first started the show. I was like, fuck a championship. Give me a max deal. He rebuttaled with the 50 million ring or whatever. How y'all feel about that? I feel like it take away from the from the, from the the dog. Like, see, I'm a, I'm a guy who like to see dog fight. That's why I feel like the older era was more such of a, a, a tougher era because they were dog fighting to win them championships. The people who Michael Jordan had done stopped, like a Charles Barkley, they was some elite players. Yeah. They was some... Everybody can kind of take a turn now to get a championship because niggas ain't dogs. Nah, They I trying agree. to go to this team to win the championship and go to that team and, all right, fuck it. Since I ain't going to win the championship, give me the money, and then I play barely because I'm already paid. Nah, that ain't true. Hold on, DC. Everybody well, be wanting to win. Yeah. But nigga... It's a time situation. You know, like, you ain't going to, like, nigga, you know your team. I ain't saying not go get the like, money. Like, no offense. Oh, yeah. like, I just feel like niggas don't want champions. Look at the Hawks right now. Trey Young and DeJounte, you look, you be like, we we can win, but we probably ain't going to beat. They got to they gotta put, they gotta build a team around them. So, you can't just please. put two people over there. So do you not take your money? No, I ain't say take my money. Eventually, the fight for the championship is going to rub off, and that's all you're going to care about. Three, four, six years, you don't win no championship. Fuck it. I'm gonna just be good enough to get a bag. Yeah. Cool. They like, damn, bro, you don't wanna take your team I to the championship. I'll take the money first, then I'll go get the championship. What I, you got to say, Carlos? Oh, yeah, Carlos. I'm taking the money. <laughs> and I'm gonna just buy me a ring for every fucking time. A lot of bring these, this conversation up. I'm yeah, because a lot of these own. niggas are selling their the rings. Goal they want. The, fu- the goal is to get there. You what if no you were stuck in one of them fucked up situations where you the best player on the worst team? No matter what the fuck you do, they never gonna win the championship. You don't have, you don't have the shit you need to be a championship oh, team. Are, are you like, would you say yeah, that's the most important part too? That's what you that too. You what? Would you say Dame Lillard's not a dog? A Dame dog. Lillard's a dog. He's a dog. There's gonna be plenty of dogs that never win a championship. Charles Barkley, one of the best players that never won a championship. And you can't deny the shit he they did. Need to bring me but somebody. What's, what's the reality? He probably ain't gonna win a championship. He stay in Portland. But I wouldn't say he won a dog or he ain't competing. So what you saying is take less money to go win the championship over yeah, here? I wouldn't do that. Versus him staying over here and be yeah. like, nah, because, nigga, I built the franchise. I run this gym. This yeah. is my gym. So you agreeing with us? Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm not taking a bag. I'm taking comfortability. This is my gym. Yeah, when you up for I run this shit. Yeah. No, no. I'm the best player on this fucking team. Think how many people want a championship <laughs> that nobody gives a fuck about. Retweet. Uh, listen, you said what? <laughs> how many people want a championship? Nobody yeah. gives a fuck about it. It's going to be like, you want a championship? We it's had cool. niggas on my ass when I said that. That's cool. I didn't say niggas' names. But, but listen. But niggas really don't fucking. Listen. Shout out to them. Y'all was great players. You, but you don't even remember them niggas that won them championships. You can have great names, but until the champions say shut the fuck up, you got to shut the fuck up. Now, when I'm up, 100 million. Nah. I don't care how much you up. You still champion. I play in the same league. You just got lucky. You would never be a Champion. And you probably wasn't even the reason why y'all won. Guess what? Right. You got that's all the money in the world. That's but right you would now. never be a champion. You don't know what that feel like. That's you ain't right. never had confetti hit you. You know what this nigga said? <laughs> that's why I'm hard. That's, 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 that's my... <laughs> no, 
that's my perspective on, on it. Like, I just, I think the the numbers is funny in the in that argument when a nigga say I take fifty million over a hundred million. So right. Fuck if, that ring. You know what I, mean? I got fifty million extra dollars. Is DC fuck full of shit ring. talking about? Motherfucking I didn't. No, 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 man. No, 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 if no, no, you plan, no, 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 you ain't never say they go to another team and they no, offer it. You mean. talked about a nigga who was a franchise of somewhere. I'm not no, leaving. You talk, I'm no, here. you missing the point. I nigga heard said, what you said. Nigga said in general, are you going to? Okay, no, you got to set. No, head. you have to he set said, up the circumstance. This is about business. He told he you. He didn't say that. He only gave me the deal. He never said what team I played for. My circumstance, because it's business. And right. so it's not business. It's, it's like, uh, in what too. business do it's, you take fifty million dollars <laughs> over a hundred? Like, 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 like I'm, t- I'm speaking in dang, dang terms. I'm not going to go take fifty over that when I'm the man here. Give me oh, my hundred what? here. And we'll build us and a team people who and like, win. Fuck you. <laughs> you you, 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 you been thing. the man for 50. We agree. We don't got shit else. Do what you been doing or go find somebody Because then he not take thing. the Trailblazers. How far do they go? Nah, because it's, 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 it's levels to range. Too, we though. shouldn't have this much. Yeah. Hold on, Chico. Chico, Let Chico get his shit going. It's levels to range. Like, it's level to range. So if you take 50, you know what I'm saying? If you take $50 million, if you take fifty million dollars to win a ring, and you c- could have got a hundred million dollars to play in a market where, after your career, you're gonna be able to flourish in that market after you leave the market, but you went and took fifty million to win a, a championship in Milwaukee, nigga. Like it's like it's a difference in regards to the way that you win championships and the way that you get money in the NBA from my perspective. I ain't never been before, but that's you can attest to this. That's, like, that's, like, that's what I'm saying. Did, if did, I, if did I, Boston if win the I championship? I get $100 million. Dollars okay. Tatum just got 250. What? Hold you up. say who? He got two fifty. Chico, that is what you got to say. Hold on, DC. What if that 250 ain't got shit to do with basketball? Out the gate. That's what I'm saying. I ain't saying that. This talking about champagne showers and shit. Well, at the end of the day, when y'all niggas retire, motherfucker gonna say, bro, I made 250. All right, but you check this out, check this out, right? I take 50 over 100 to win a ring that's gonna be one of them rings that niggas gonna talk about in 20 years. Hold like on, bro, I'm not going to take it. Are we dealing with cap space? I'm t- but now I'm going to tell are you. Are we dealing like, with cap space? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're doing this shit all <laughs> DC wrong. DC Play 2K. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm speaking business. We're doing this shit all wrong. Why don't we just say that's hey, Jim? I'm telling you, he'll tell you. He already I would said. never turn down money for a ring. Like that's what it boiled down to. It don't matter. Like at the end of the day, not to shout him out like that, but Antoine Walker, he won a ring. But when we talk about him, we talk about he lost his money or whatever. So I'm never gonna because he didn't win a ring in one of them places that he won it in Miami. We love I mean, Antoine, but, but when with on what team with Shaq and yeah, and, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like. To be able to take fifty million to get one of those rings, if I'm a nigga like a Antoine Walker, I'd take the fifty million because I'd already made one ninety two hundred. But no. I'm not taking. Oh, so I'm not saying, taking. He was I'm saying, not, saying I'm not, I'm not taking it. fifty right. million. So no, no, y'all doing it. circumstantial no. shit. We talking about nigga. Out the gate. Fifty, 50 queen, nigga. Fifty is all you get. Fifty oh, queen. Oh no, yeah, nigga, fuck that. Going. That don't. Yeah, Where am I like going? that ain't nah. They see you going. Like, not you going to the corners. Oh, nigga, okay. I'm thinking that's good. what the argument was. Hey, you mean tell me I got my whole career? I can make fifty with a ring or a hundred with no ring. What the fuck? <laughs> no, that's because, because I'm the nigga, <laughs> because I'm the nigga that's gonna make money off my fifty. Now this what I'm saying. Yeah. People what don't said. make said that. all that money because they blowing that shit anyway. Now we gonna take Jackson. yo 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 your situation for example. You went to the Hawks. Yeah. They paid you good. Yeah. You went everywhere. You went to India. They played you good. Yeah. You went and got your ring with the Bucks. Yeah. You you settled for what you wanted. That was a great team. You know what it feel like to be a champion. Yeah, but if you could have had that conversation dollars to go somewhere else, I would have been like, here you go. You would have gave it up? <laughs> Hell yeah. See, God, that's damn. the fucking game. Don't get distracted by the fucking the prizes. No, no. So what I need to try to take care of his family. Well, so what he is, told, right? Like he said, he told a story like these motherfuckers to say, hey, tomorrow your ass out of here. Man, you got a minimum window to make as much money as you can. So how about right. this? You got a minimum window, right? But they only giving out these contracts maybe like three, four years. You're not getting no eight-year contract. It ain't yeah, like yeah. baseball. All right, I'm going to give you three three year 50 mil right you go over here and win this i'm gonna do this to set up for the 150 for the next four see we gotta get there though we gotta win, win. We gotta win. that's what i'm saying if i took the 50 and we won it 
If we win, you you now we still speaking hypothetically. Right. Let's keep speaking. Now these, we won the champion. I got a great example for I'm you. I'm going to another team to get my money. The year that they won the chip, they played the Nets, right? They had right. Kyrie and KD. If it wasn't for that little centimeter KD hitting that shot, them niggas he don't go to be the talking finals. About a if Kyrie don't turn his ankle, on a they don't project. win no championship. That's what you're saying. No. No, I think it's. Okay. No, they beat us by 50 one game. Mm. They was, they <laughs> was going to probably win the chip. Okay. <laughs> but you can't gauge that. Right. Shit happens in the NBA. That's some injury shit. Right. You can guarantee that money, though. And then the thing is, you that's win rings. And that's yeah. a perfect yeah. example. You like, KD, my up. nigga, I love KD. Like, that's my favorite player in the NBA now. And that nigga went and run them rings, and everybody's like, nigga, well, you went and cheated for two years to win the <laughs> rings, nigga. You went over there and cheated. And it's like, what difference do it make if they going to chastise the ring? They can't chastise the 100 million. Right? Never. They can never. Right. That's the only they difference. They love the money. They, they can never cha- you a champion. They that's can't never chastise the money. Rubber, but when you win that champion. ring, nigga, yeah. They gonna immediately chastise the ring. Once you win the ring, they were like, "Well, if it wasn't for this, and if it wasn't for that, <laughs> and if it wasn't for this." But when I go to the bank, that hundred million is a hundred million. Whether I got fuck a ring, right. if I ain't got no fingers, that bitch still a <laughs> hundred million. You'll never have a ring. Give, give me Carmelo Anthony career on and off the court. You'll never have a green jacket. Oh, motherfucker, that one. Fuck that no, green jacket. I go buy one. <laughs> They sell yeah. rings and punch And they sell them weak ass the green jackets, nigga. Dude. You, <laughs> you can, can get probably Super buy somebody rings. rings. And they jacket. And nigga. That's because they ain't financially didn't do what they supposed to do. That's what some other niggas do. So now we in the NBA. I just got more for 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 money. I got 100 million and 50 million. Exactly. So right now we in the NBA because we in the highest. This is the highest level. Sir. We in the NBA just for the money now. Nah. The money gonna come. Nah, niggas compete. They want to win, but I'm just But that's saying. where the compete come from. For the nah, win, you don't compete a, like, I'm all, trying to get but, a hundred but it's million. Also, it, it, it ain't crazy. boxing, that, nigga. That, that, it ain't it boxing. Ain't, it's honestly, it's not right. boxing, bro. It's you got to, it's not boxing. It's five or four other job. niggas you got to play with. Yeah, if you ain't doing your job, but I'm doing mine. Like, it's four other I'm going to be 100 from a nigga that's on the outside looking in. I get mad when y'all niggas get paid all that money and don't don't show the fuck up. I'm like, this fuck nigga getting... Four hundred fifty thousand a game. Bitch, that nigga can't even score twelve points. I slap you. Cause you don't Cause even know. He like this nigga making a million. Give him the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what be the ultimate. Exactly. That's what I was just about to say. You you've been around long enough to understand, nigga. Some a lot of niggas, bro, is out here really playing for individual contracts, nigga. Yeah, if my you, team is sad, nigga, I'm trying to average twenty five because I know me averaging twenty five is gonna guarantee me a max deal, bro. Hey, I'm trying to tell you. So why would I get mad at the nigga who? Who making more money than me I ain't showing we up. We ain't getting you, mad at you. You know what I'm finna do? Ball. Take my team to the chip to show you, hey, it man. It ain't that easy. Re- renegotiate that contract, That ain't what they man. paying you for. Yeah. yeah. It's not what they paying you for. You, <laughs> you got to understand. So you telling me my contract these say, I'm only making money to do a specific thing. They brought Facts. that nigga here to do one thing. They Rebound. don't give a fuck. If yes. you get 30 points, bitch, we brought you to rebound. So Kevin Looney, ass nigga. Basically, you said you a puppet. You Everybody a Kevin Looney? the same opportunity. So, all right, when you get the ball and you want to shoot, you be like, what? Ah. No. Hey, 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 when I went back to the NBA, that was real life. Like, they be like, hey, man, you this want to get the ball to Joe Johnson, John Smith, Al Horford, Marvin Williams, run to the court. You know how many pick and rolls this nigga ran? This nigga was a dog in the motherfucking college. You the nigga that gets to shoot. I was. Hey, tell me about the time you had 30. They told us in the NBA at some point. No, at I'm, some point, I'm every nigga. No, no, no. He had to learn the game. Yeah, you got to learn how to play under the whistle. Like You had 30. I had a game in Minnesota one time. I was killing. And I shot a mid-range jumper one time. I told that story. I shot a, like a midi. And made it. I made it to go into the half. And they was like, pulled me to the side. I was like, you don't want to be here no more, do you, huh? And I was like, the fuck? I'm like, yeah. He like. If you shoot another mid-range jumper, you won't play no more for a Timberwolves. And you're like, what the fuck? He's like, we want threes and layups. I'm like, damn, I might be out the loop in the league because I ain't know I couldn't shoot right there. But that shit you got to go through. You don't know that. That's mid-range what I'm telling you. Everybody know. No everybody, it's this nigga like think the NBA the is a fucking Hoop. AAU team. <laughs> they got motherfuckers they want doing something. But that's the point. Shit. When I'm in the AAU team, the whole world is getting the NBA. So it's like, nigga, I want to be a dog. But you can't do that when you play for an organization. Well, don't train the kids like that. You need to train his little pussy ass on the dude rebound. But my nigga was the first option. That's how they going to do it when he get to the NBA? He was the first option on the team, but he had to learn how to play a role once he got around other stars. Give Joe the motherfucker ball, nigga. We don't give a Fact. fuck what you did that way. Yeah, yeah. Joe, but what if Joe having a bad ball. game? It ain't up to Jeff. It's too bad. Josh. <laughs> we lost. Yeah, I was. We won to Josh, nigga. He Joe lost was on the, the first option. Josh, Marvin, Al, 
You gotta get these motherfucker ball get to the corner. I can't. Ain't no such thing as coming thing. in being I can't the key even see player. You play when I was in. I went to Winston Salem State. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I can't even see you ball at Wake Forest. Yeah, yeah. And I got the shooter. Yeah, time. yeah. Like but that's this all you did. Like he was on NBA Jam yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. That nigga was. I mean. And then you go to the NBA they like. Get on the NBA. This nigga out there like this. Come on. Four X sweat suit. Come on, come on, come on, Al Horford. Come on to the free throw. Yeah, I know. Them niggas is slightly disrespectful. You niggas ain't never did none of that shit in the NBA. You got to get some better friends. Yeah, it's fucked up, nigga. You can have a great game and they like, I mean, what the fuck is you doing, nigga? They'll really pun you. No, it's a good game, but they'll be like, okay, all right, good game. So though, how do you become a great? How do you become one of them? They have to. You have to be handpicked. Get lucky. You gotta be like in the right situation. Like once Joe and them left, it was my chance to like flourish. Right, you know what right. I mean? But like, I keep using Trey Young because we like the Hawks. Right. He came in. They like Trey. It's your team. Here you go. Do your thing. Right. That right. don't happen for everybody. Mm. Yeah, it's a it's a, where you get it's drafted. It's a bunch of niggas you probably think and, about in college you know that I mean? was cold. See, that's why can you feel for where they ain't coming from? If I came into a situation. I know how that shit go. Why the fuck would I leave the trailblazer and go over here and put myself in an uncomfortable situation where uh-huh. I don't even like how the Lakers tried to make uh, 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 Rush look like he just a uh, Westbrook. Man, man, that nigga was a dog, man. See, they tried to make that nigga look crazy, man. Thank you. Situation. That's, that's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. 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 I know, I know that, but I'm like, that's crazy when you make it out. You know that. Russell a dog. It's like, in the Lakers, I know the politics, like, but you have to yeah. sit me down. But then it's, and then it's, and then you have in the yeah. NBA, you have. Yeah, they gonna find your ass. You have, my money guaranteed, right? No, it ain't. You, you have situational work. situations that happen in the NBA where you have like a nigga like Jeremy Lin, who Talk are, about you it. know what I mean, that come off the bench and have a run of eight, nine games and get uh fifty million dollars. Yeah. So you can have shit like that happen, but it's uncommon because the structure of the NBA game is this is it's entertainment. Yep. It's entertainment right. at the end of the day. That shit is entertainment. We put all of the on this on. Oh, man. I don't them, man, them, niggas, on them niggas got a ball and dog. I, man, I watch I that shit the same way I watch wrestling, nigga. Them niggas. But see, I just see watching the game crazy. like, see, that bitch ass nigga, they just gave this nigga a hundred million dollars. Look at that bitch. No, they can't I, even I, score I watch 10. the game because. Not knowing this nigga eventually fucked because he got to switch his whole game up and learn the system. If Dane, what I'm saying, if like, Dane was in his position, vice versa. My nigga go do the same thing in Portland that they ain't doing. I ain't but gonna this say what I'm that. saying. Just, uh, now he, 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 he was trying to get back for that disrespect of Pick and Roll. He was trying to get back. This is what I'm saying. When, 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 when Westbrook was at the Wizards, he was the double, double, triple, double king. Yeah. Was he not? He yeah. was like he that everywhere. He went to these Lakers, and they was like. Look who he playing with, though. Russ is third on the list. Situations, bro. You got to switch your game up. You just proving my point. He playing with AD and LeBron, bro. It's different. Yeah, you can't just be out there being. Nah, hero, it's a totem pole, pole bro. <laughs> yeah, it's different, man. See, that should have made me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm hard here. You I got to keep the trade. Huh? You going to the office and force some trade? Man, I'm whoever. I'm one of them <laughs> niggas, man. If you don't like me, beat me up to get me out of here. See, he gonna <laughs> say that shit. Well. He gonna say that shit right after the game. They gonna find him seventeen million dollars. Oh God, <laughs> that game check gone. <laughs> you playing for free now? You shouldn't have said that shit. You said. Pretty and funny. then when you hit, <laughs> yeah. I'm right there in the owner's car. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I was in here already. Yeah. Ice Cube gonna call you. Jeff, I got, I got, I got another question for you. I always <laughs> wanted this. I always like to ask NBA players: Is who the best player you ever played with that we ain't never heard of? Best I played with, you probably never heard of. Y'all probably heard of him though, but uh, Jordan Crawford, Jay Crawford. He played in the Big Three this past season, but uh, Jordan Crawford. No. Jordan, Jordan Crawford. Jamal Xavier. Crawford. He went to Xavier, named Jordan Crawford. He called. Yeah. So, in your called. opinion, what stops niggas like that from getting to the next level and succeed? Opportunity. <laughs> I mean, he had some good years. He had a year where, he, I think his rookie year, he had like 38 on LeBron. But, like, opportunity. That's really it. For real? Because you think about how you say like, with Jeremy Lin, right? Jeremy Lin went crazy. And that next year, they went to Carmelo, like, what you going to do? And they was like, yeah, go ahead and sign back if you want to. Now, Jeremy Lin in Houston. Right. He didn't care about none of that shit you was just doing. Whoever, that big dog, hey, that's cool. He crazy. He can go crazy somewhere else. If you don't feel what we got going on, it don't matter. If I'm paying my max player, his opinion matters. So like Jordan, Jordan Poole. Poole. Look at Jordan Poole. Come on. Jordan Poole. Yeah, 20 this year? Yes. Yeah. That shit, that man across the nation. Y'all know how big Lin Sanity was, like, in New York? Yeah, I, I remember. 
I remember that shit. That fucking shit was crazy. Fucking Luke going crazy out there. They Man, got this nigga right the fuck up out of there. How the nigga Luke Kane? Because motherfucking Melo like, <laughs> nah. all right, this Tebow season is over with. It's done, daughter. Damn. It's a pecking order, bro. Real shit. That's why you be seeing niggas on the podcast mad as fuck about that. I don't know why, motherfucker. Man, I saw when I realized that shit was just business and the players uh, was out there playing and just doing what the fuck they do, whether they succeed or fail, like you said. The if the people who in charge of this shit just have a bad day and say, man, get them the fuck out of here. It oh, don't happen. What the fuck are we in the gym for? Like, nah, you just wanna, stay you fit. Wa- yeah, you want to be, you want to have a good product. You want to go out there and show well so you can get paid. Shit, I never bitch. shoot. That's a job, rounds. really. Fuck. Because if you come late, you get fined. Yeah. Open layup, I can't take. Yeah, but you look at somebody like Dennis Rodman. Nah, I ain't say that. Dennis Rodman. No Ben Simmons. Led the NBA in rebounds for like eight years straight. There's all oh, that nigga had forty five rebounds, knew zero that points. That was his role. Don't you shoot shit. I didn't even go out there and be a dog. He was cool with that. But he was the best at that. He was shit. the best at that. That's a lot of people though. Do that. Be good. That's what I'm saying. That's I fun. have to find a way for me to be great. Be good at your role. Yeah, you got to What be is great. that? Listening? Yes. Pat, Bev, Pat Bev is a perfect example. That's why he's still in the league, bro. He mastered his role. That nigga used to average 30 in high school. You know the nigga. best way to compare it? It's like wilding out, bro. It's Ooh. just like wilding out. Oh. When we show up on wilding hey, out, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just like that. I mean, I don't get told. It's I don't just, get no, told. No, no, what I'm to talking do. about the role. They tell I'm me, like, hey, DJ, I'm like, bro, exactly. that food. Uh, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Exactly. When we show, when certain motherfuckers Little show up, they don't even talk to us. They be right. like, yeah, all right. Yo, right. The rest of you niggas, <laughs> sit around in the circle and sing, nigga. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just- Are you going to be a shit? Are you going to be a shit? Like, it's just that, I, I would assume that that's the type of environment. You got motherfuckers that can show up and do what they want to do because you know that when the when the lights come on and when the they throw that ball up in the air, niggas know what you going to do. Niggas well, know what you going to do. How do I get that check, that hundred million, you gotta be cold. Not by a great passer. No, you yeah, be you cold. can be, nigga. Can I, look at Mike Conley. So you just want me to? I mean, over Shout the back. Mike. Phone. Three over the back. Mike, gotcha. Mike averaging eleven, nigga, and up, nigga, hundred forty. Especially if you don't shoot, you you gonna do something. Oh, you gonna, they don't oh, want you, you to shoot. They He's, gonna put the motherfuckers out there they want to shoot. Your job is to get them the Run ball. Run the show, nigga. The you gotta pass all you the gotta ball. do. Whether we win by a elevate. hundred or we I'm lose sorry, by a hundred. If you do the shit that they tell you to do, you, you can elevate. It's opportunity. But you ain't settling, you nigga. Gotta be yeah, in nigga. It's an opportunity for you. It's an yeah, opportunity you for you in motherfucking Houston <laughs> right now. No. You can go down to Houston right now and play all the shooting guards you want to play. <laughs> And go twenty two and sixty one, <laughs> nigga. That's gonna be your record. Or for- go to the big three, call Cube up, nigga, and lace up with the big three. If you can't follow these orders that we got out yeah. here, you can go to Europe. Shoot all I'm, you I'm, want I'm to. grabbing these young niggas too. Nah, we're gonna Jaylen send you Green to Italy, to where you can't eat nothing over there, and you are gonna shit the yeah, whole time. Yeah, go to Call of Duty if you want to. For <laughs> hey, sure. No, no bullshit, Carlos. All the dogs we have in the show who played overseas, like they're going there, like they're doing a bid, like shit. The Wi-Fi go, we ain't gonna have that. it for a week. That ain't no English TV. Said, Fuck that shit. He became a god over there. He was in China. Man, man, the butt went over there and went crazy. But the nigga, you go slide. He went to Stephon Marbury. Literally, though. He went to China, became a god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he was doing. Chewing Vaseline and shit. That nigga was working out the Michael Jackson. What about the nigga that's playing in Puerto Rico? Rico, nigga. What about it? I'm just saying, he might be over there, not even in the in the international league. He on the I beat beat. Contracts oh, damn, imagine all I the niggas that's trying up. to get in the league. Imagine the that niggas that's still, playing they still getting like a sending in, ball. in jail, <laughs> nigga. That'll be a, I'm talking about there's some niggas that's in motherfucking we got some state penitentiary for sure. that could have went live, but you'll no, never see them, you shit. No, they niggas yes, they I knew it was business, but I ain't know it was business like that. Nah, it's, it's always business. It's like, I understand. Okay, I like if the main well, shooter who be paying, the nigga ain't shooting shit. We got the scope. Nah, but you shoot his shots, and your ass is on the bench. So how do we know if it's his shots? And he oh, like, hey, hey, he like, got that. Nah, so flat, like, look at it like wild enough. Let's say you I'm Greg go out and do some shit, right? And just a nigga just run out and be like, move DC, I got it. <laughs> I am What's looking at the nigga like that. He better be good. He ain't gonna make season three. <laughs> I ain't gonna help you either. <laughs> See what I'm See, saying? See, look, now you know. <laughs> now you hate. <laughs> but they can get on that though. Like, yeah. imagine somebody else about to get paid and it's your turn. You a free agent. And shit. So niggas was doing shot. that on Wild and Out? 
niggas go for what they know. Everybody get a shot, but it's I mean, just it's really like camera time. Yeah, that shit, go ahead. I'm, I'm like, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. But I'm, but the thing go. about it is, if you if you give a nigga that shot and he got that type of ambition, but don't got the talent to go with it, it you it's only gonna be so many times you let this nigga try. Yeah. And shoot a brick, nigga. Be like, hey, don't shoot that shit no more, my nigga. Oh, you just never grabbed the mic. That's what the dream did to me. What's up, oh, bro? For real? <laughs> yeah, hey. the dream. Shout out to the dream. Uh, he used to sit courtside at all the games. Who, dream? Yeah. I came to Nah, the motherfucking singer. <laughs> oh, oh, he, he was going oh, crazy on oh, you. Nigga, you talking about so, the dream? Don't you <laughs> ever let a nigga that sing help you, bro? <laughs> no, no, bro. No, please, please let him tell this story. Please, 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 I want to hear you. I'm like my second year. He like, T, keep working, baby. Keep working. I'm like, yeah. Jamal Crawford was on my team. I faked the ball to Jamal, shot that motherfucker. He said, hey, nigga, don't you ever do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said, sit your ass down. No, sit your like, fat ass down. Yeah, sit your fat ass down. He was like, fuck you. That nigga ain't talked to me since that day, bro. No. I when I came back to the hospital, what's up, boy? That nigga was like, fuck you. <laughs> your goof ass on, man. That nigga still ain't fuck with me, man. Damn. Damn, man. All right, man. It's been too much fucking fun. We got to get the fuck up out of here because I got to get to work. I'm going to get a championship. Hey, going to get your chip tonight, games, bro. It's going to be the only championship banner in that motherfucker. Man, we appreciate it. I got to ask before I go. I got to ask. Go crazy. Go crazy. One more NBA question. You know what I mean? Y'all, you know, you make so much money in the league. and you know what I mean? Just understand it, bread. What's the most money you ever blew, nigga, that you like, Nick? What the fuck did I just do? Blue? Trip. Like tripping, tripping. Like the one where you look back on now and be like, man, I was tripping. I, I'm pretty cheap, so I'll probably be like, I went to the club one time and blew like 25000 On what? What you mean pretty cheap? Nigga, you stupid. I was about to say, nigga, What's wrong what? with you? That was just a... Yeah. What I club? You went to the Oh, Lord. You no, no. I just, oh, no. I went to One Oak in, uh, in New York. In New York? Oh, yeah. yeah. 25. I'm well, disappointed. I'm I'm disappointed. That ain't even no strip club. <laughs> I'm disappointed. That story wasn't shit. You rich as fuck, and you going to tell me about the time you spent $25,000. That's a lot of money to be blowing, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. I blew that last weekend. Fuck it off. You tripping. <laughs> you tripping, too, yeah. nigga. What the fuck? You tripping. <laughs> Carlos on the back deal, y'all know. What's wrong with you, nigga? You, you blew 25 on what? That's why it's all on you, motherfucker. Oh. Oh, I'm, ain't we about to be done? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we'll get up out of here. Appreciate 85 South, man. Love, love, love man. Salute to y'all, boys, man. Appreciate y'all, Thank man. y'all for having us, man. Absolutely, Thank man. You. Keep teaching the ball. We'll be back next week. Shout out to the Patreon gang. What gang you was throwing up? I saw them, too. They threw up some.